Okay, so hello and welcome to a review of Lego Pirates of the Caribbean Cannibal Escape. I will be taking a look at the box here, contents, and then the set. I um, hope you enjoyed this the intro. This is my second Lego review, my third review overall. I'm going to basically just be doing reviews on the site. Whether they're for Lego or figures or any of that stuff, just gonna be reviews and vlogs and stuff like that. Um, I'm new, so if you have any criticisms, please inform me so I can find any way to make these better in the future. So I'm um, giving me a minute, and I will set up the close-up for you. Alright, so this is the set, um, got, this is the box, comes in, got the front, got the Lego signs, got ages 6 through 12, set 4182, the Cannibal Escape, 279 pieces, excuse me, it's a, uh, says building toy, it's got it in that, and I think Spanish is the other language, and it's got basically pictures of the set, um, Poster inside, minifigures, got Jack Sparrow, Will Turner, the Indians, got the top of the box, close-up view of the minifigures, some wording and logo, and then the side, bottom, little advertisement, and then the side, and then there's the back. Look at Pirates of the Caribbean, set 41882, says the set, the features, you got the opening bone cage, the rising and lowering, the chair, spinning little fire thing little inside nice view of the set visit them at their website of course that's really all we care for about the box the only other thing I have um, the intent of showing you is that in here um, the instructions that came with this set came in basically this little cardboard thing that were a little bit bigger than this I guess to keep the instructions from bending but the instructions have the same picture as the set and it has numbered bags the first bag is for the minifigures the two snakes the fire pit fire pit has um, six fire pit itself has twelve I guess technically you could say seven or technically twelve um, different steps and then you get the little fire thing then um, bag two builds the bone cage and the chair, the chair is fourteen steps and the bone cage is ten steps no, my bad. Bone cage is 13 steps. And then there's the third bag, which is the main piece. It's the tree headquarter type thing. And it takes 20... No, it is um, 29 pieces. It takes 29 steps to build that. And you get a little back view. And you've got the amount of pieces. It comes with them. Um, look at all the posters. And there's the poster it comes with. See if you can see it better in the light. I have the poster and I'll show it in a later video, a little thing, but I don't have it um, right now. And I apologize for the inconvenience and ad in the back. Also has a little ad for their game. I think instructions, but that's not what you care about. So give me a second and we'll move on to the close up of the review. Alright, welcome to the close up. This is where we'll be looking at the set. First thing we'll do is look at the minifigures. First one you got is Will Turner. He, um, see if he gets focus. That's a little better. Um, so he's, he's not an exclusive minifigure, but, um, he comes in only three sets as far as I'm aware of, and this is the cheapest one. He comes in this, the mill, and the Black Pearl. Black Pearl's a hundred. The mill is 40 and this is 30, so this is the cheapest set you can find him in. He's got a nice face right there, smile, very accurate. 
got a nice hair piece, got a nice little ponytail, like in the movie, and he's got two faces, and he has a smirk in one. So, yeah, and he's got some, his shirt, it's very nice, he's got a belt, a belt buckle, show some of his skin off. Um, his back has some fantastic back printing. Um, not only does he have some, he has all these, can't tell if you can see, but he's got a bunch of little stripes on his shirt. And then his pants are just plain black. Um, so he, and he's got a brown, um, just like Barbosa, has a little sword holster, but this is brown, like the color of his pants. Uh, I guess because he's um, not a pirate in the beginning. So he's not exclusive, but he is, um, this is the cheapest set he's in now. Here's Jack Sparrow. Um, his head is exclusive. Um, technically he's an exclusive minifigure, but the only part of him that's exclusive is the head. He's got the basic legs, back, no, take the hair off, nice basic hair. Take the hair off for a better view of the head. And the back. Here's his chest and his back. Now the head is um, going to be a fan favorite in this set because uh, trying to tell if you can see he's got he's got a bunch of eyes. Has all the eyes. I don't know if you can tell, but. Sorry, I can't afford a fancy camera. It's just the best you can get. Got he's got um basically uh, three eyes, one on each side of his face. He's got his normal kind of smile face, and then on the other side, he's got like a screaming ah! face, which I'll go ahead and set him to for one of the features of this set so yeah there you go there's Jack and then here's the snakes very basically this typical this typical snake got a little rattle at the end slithered kinda like an S and then his face head at the end you got a green one and you get a red one I won't focus on these much long for too long because they're pretty. They're basically your typical spit steak, and there's a lot of them. Now this figure is exclusive. He um, has a nice long spear. And call brown. Um, he's got a nice little bone in his hair, like a dog bone, and it's tied up in his hair. His face. Um, I don't know if you can tell. Let me try and get it nice. Ah, it's a little bit better. That's great. Okay, so he's got um, white on his face, little white mask, I guess, over his eyes, like face paint. And then his mouth, you may not be able to see this, he's got little stitch marks. And then his chest has yellow face paint and, like, these tooth, like, finger claw, bones all over, necklace, like, side. Belt and he's got his little TP thing down there, like his undies, and he's got two skeletons on one leg, strapped around one leg. So that's really cool. Let's see if you can. Get